Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we need to take a good old look at Generations. You see, we've got some new news about Generations, and that's something we need to have a good old chat about. Remember, these are the new starter decks, which are coming out in Japan. They're actually coming out in Japan very, very soon. We are not far away from the release of Generations at all at this point. The decks are actually releasing on the 27th of November. That is two weeks away, which means next week, if there are any unreleased, unrevealed cards from the set, they will be shown off next week. But the deal here is that we have nine decks, each of which features one generation, like the Pikachu and Snorlax for Generation 1, or the Tapu Koko and Mimikyu for Generation 7, things along those lines. And that's just an excuse to show off those hero visuals, which are absolutely stunning. And also, each of the decks has two new EXs in, and frankly, it's a little bit exciting. So the Gen 1 deck has Pikachu and Snorlax EX, for instance. The Gen 7 deck has Tapu Koko EX and Mimikyu EX, as an example. Well, we've got a bunch of new information here, and that includes the special set. You see, there is a, a second set here, in addition to the individual decks, which gives you the decks for Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 8, and Gen 9, the first and last two generations as we talk today. And in that special set, there are a bunch of things. You get a Gen 1 coin, which is amazing. You get a Gen 9 coin, which is amazing. And you get a bunch of other stuff. And the other day, this was the best look I could show you at the contents. And I said, hey, we've got a quartet of promo cards. This is the best quality look I can show you. And I apologized. And I said, I'd love to show you a better look. And I told you that when we could, I would show you a better look. Well, good news. That, that's today. We now have a better look at these promos. We've got a couple of new cards as well. So let's start off with what is my absolute favorite favorite card, the Paldean Whooper. If I hadn't already pre-ordered this set, I absolutely would have, but but I did. I ordered it like a couple of weeks ago, the second this one up for pre-order. This is the Scarlet and Violet Start Deck Generation Special Battle Set, and yeah, I, I pre-ordered this, well, the day I revealed them, showed them, I didn't reveal them myself, but you know, the day I showed them to you, they went up for pre-order on the Pokemon Center Japan, and I pre-ordered them immediately. And this is Okacheke artwork. I thought it might be the other day. When I showed these to you the other day, I thought this might be Okacheke artwork, but I wasn't 100% convinced. And I don't like making sweeping declarations like this is Okacheke artwork when the best we've got is a blurry little image. That seems, that seems generally like a pretty bad idea. So I thought it was Okacheke, but I had to sit and wait for a minute. And it turns out, it totally is Okacheke, and I am delighted. My favorite artist, I like Paldea and Wooper. I have a real soft spot for Paldea and Wooper, and, or Paldea and Claude's Eye, really. And now we've got this, and it is just an alternate art reprint of the one in the Generations decks. So in the Generations decks, we are getting a brand new Paldea and Wooper. And this is just an alternate art version of it. It goes with the Paldea and Claude's Eye EX in the Gen 9 deck. Which also has a... I know it's 3D artwork, but it just looks adorable. It's not a particularly good card. It does 10 damage, and you flip a coin, and if heads, you do 20 more. That's really not the point here. Look at the artwork. This is one of my favorite cards from the Scarlet and Violet era. I'm not even joking. It You can see exactly where it is from the games. It's got phenomenal artwork. It's amazing. We do also have a really clear new look at the new Meowth. I say new Meowth, the new promo Meowth, the new illustration rare Meowth. This one I don't like as much, although I'm sure a bunch of you will. This one is also lovely, just not quite on the same level as far as I'm concerned. But this is an alternate art reprint of the one from Shrouded Fable. It's got Fury, Swipes, 2 Energy, Flip 3 Coins, 20 for each heads. It's, it's alright. It's not terribly exciting, I'll be honest with you. But it's still kind of cool that we are getting them. It, it's not an essential card by any stretch. But, hey, 
we, we, we got one. I also kind of like that the promos are one from the first generation, one from the last generation. There's just something about that that just seems appropriate. So those are your two illustration rare promos. These are the main reason to buy this. To buy this set. Because it's, it's the four decks, right? You can buy these four decks separately. You've got the coins, which I think are personally lovely. And I'm assuming they're going to be exclusive because they're literally pairs of Pokemon. It would be weird at this point to see these coins revealing in any other product. But I don't think the coins are going to sell this. It's the promos and that's kind of awesome. But we actually have a brand new card. Which is your Suicune. This is the, one of the other promos from the set. And this is an actual brand new, mechanically unique, never before seen card. Is it going to be super playable? P probably not. Fun fact, this is the only Suicune in the format at the moment. This will be our first Suicune. Uh, it's not actually particularly good, I'm afraid. 120 HP. We got free energy 100. That doesn't need a translation. Let's see if I can do the first attack on the fly while I'm recording. Two energy, 30 damage, and it just does 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. In addition, of course, to the obvious 30 to the active. And this is a weird one to me because 30 30, I mean, if you've been playing for a little while, you're going to look at 30 30, and your immediate reaction is going to be <gasps> Landorus. Because yes, Landorus. I played an obscene amount of Landorus back in the day. Me and Landorus had it going on, frankly. I played a lot of Landorus EX decks. But then, by the same token, Landorus was a single energy and hit a really, really good weakness at the time. Like, fighting weakness at the time was phenomenal. So, being able to hit that, plus also having a single basic energy actually did make a huge difference that's not where we are here it's it's two colorless energy yes you can use double turbo energy but then you've got the minus 20 which means you might as well not bother so you kind of need to have your two basic energy on here not double turbo in order to really make the most of this, you need to try and avoid double turbo. And then turn one going second, trying to get the two basic energy on is just going to be annoying. I'm not saying it can't be done. And it is colorless energy. So, you know, a lot of people right now are playing the whole Teal Mask Ogabon energy switch engine. So you can use that here. You need one energy switch plus your attachment for the turn and it's rolling and you are hitting water weakness and maybe the water weakness will be enough. There's certainly potential here. If you can do this without using double turbo, I do kind of like this, but it is a little bit awkward. I'm going to be honest with you. And then the last promo, and I'm going to say promo here very much in air quotes, is your Duraludon. Because it, this is not a new card. It's not a brand new card. It's not an illustration rare. It's not alternate art or anything like that. It is just Duraludon. Specifically, Duraludon from Stellar Crown. Now, that was a common. This is foil. So, it seems... It looks like it is a common that they're reprinting it with a rare hollow. Like, as in the same foil treatment as a rare. Which is fine. Like, it, it will set it apart from the regular card. Because, like I say, the regular card was a common. But I, this is by far the least exciting. Like, we've got two illustration rares that are brand new and all of that, which is wonderful. They look stunning. we got an exclusive Suicune, which at least has a little bit of potential playability-wise. And then we've just got, hey, this Duraludon, we, we've gone and hollowed it up for you. The good news is it is a good Duraludon. If you're playing Duraludon, you'll be playing this one. But that's the best I can tell you. But then we've got... Nine new supporter cards. But the fact that we're this far into the video and I'm only bringing up the nine new supporter cards now probably clues you in that there is something going on here. What we've actually got going on is Black Belt's training and there is a different one for each generation. Here's Gen 1. Here's Gen 2. Here's Gen 3. Oh, look, they're all done by Gossan. Same artist has done all of these. Here's Gen 4, here's Gen 5, here's Gen 6, here's Gen 7, here's Gen 8, who for some reason is training inside, but not in a dojo, unless that is a dojo, but it does not look like a dojo. 
And here's Gen 9. I adore this. I think this is wonderful. They've got this new supporter card. And rather than just put it in all nine of the decks, they've got one artist to give their impression of all nine black belts from all nine of the generations. And I just think this is wonderful. It's a little thing that absolutely did not need to be done. And yet doing it is just this great little nod. And I think that is wonderful. I love that they've done this. They didn't need to do this. But the fact that they have just makes me really, really happy. Now, as for the card itself, what we've got here is a supporter card that says, During this turn, your Pokemon's attacks deal 40 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon EX. And that's very important. It only does extra damage to EXs. Now, we have reached that point in the cycle, as I told you a couple of times recently. We've reached that point in the cycle where... We're not attacking these anymore. The, these cards that specifically give an advantage against a type of Pokemon, like the Chase Pokemon, used to be EXs and Vs. It's now just EXs. But I tell you what, Kieran does an extra 30, and we play Kieran for the damage. Now, Kieran also does the extra damage to Vs, which are still very relevant right now. And you can use it as a switch instead of the extra damage. So I don't know if the extra 10 damage is really worth playing it over Kieran, if I'm honest with you. But as with all of this kind of stuff, it's going to be played as a one-off to hit key numbers. Like, if, if this sees any real play, it is going to be a deck that sits down and goes, Okay, I need to hit this number. I'm 10, 20, 30, 40 away, whatever it might be. Would have to be 40 away, honestly, because otherwise you just play Kieran. But there are going to be some times where you look at this and you're like, I need to do an extra 40. An extra 30 is not going to be enough. And in that situation, yeah, you will see this played as a one-off to hit key numbers in some decks. So there we go. I've shown you the promos. I've shown you the new cards. And now it's over to you guys. Are you excited about these starter decks? Are you looking forward to them? Let me know in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Dingus, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.